What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, it's B, it's the truck star. Welcome back to another dance hall mix session. You know what I mean? Today we are mix a hit. Straight bomb clot. It and below one of his six bars. Six free squash, you know what I mean? I'm a mobile thing. But yeah, man, like I said, we are mix one properly, you know what I mean? This one I mix stems, you know, I mix no um pattern and on all of them things that we mix from stem so we have file you know i mean the way you're supposed to mix any fucking way so everything look kind of confusing right now as we go along we'll trim up the individual tracks and do the do and all them things there so i'm so we'll just start out and all of that so welcome welcome let's do the thing live of course so let's get started Yeah, bro, do you think, man? I'm some audio stream for a while, because I mix one completely, you know what I mean? From scratch, so. Bless up, um, brother. I appreciate the coming through, you know what I mean? Alright, so <clears throat> I'll start with the Wait, Wait, Wait. What's up, man? 
plate. Go downstairs. Mine. Go downstairs. See you later. <laughs> hey, bros. Um, so I start with the the, the foundation for your tracker, which is the the piano melody, which I was started. Greetings, Kia man. I pray, I pray. All right, so I'm going to do the piano, yeah? <coughs> the foundation, so... Not too much, I know, stock plugins I get used. Now nah, I even got to tell no lie. There's a lot of aftermarket plugins today. So, for the piano, what I'm going to do... Or scoop out a little bit of the bass. You know what I mean? As you can see, we don't have nothing to go on underneath 100, for real. So we don't really need that. So I'll do double click that, turn it into a sharp filter and low cut it. So we get rid of all the little mud. We don't need that. We'll cut up to about 120, 130. Then with a boost, a little bit of the higher stuff. And then one thing I like about the Fab Filter EQ is it have this mid-side mode. So I can do is right click on the point and then click on um, split. So now we have left and right. You know what I mean? So we'll switch that door into stereo. And what we can do is we can EQ the left and right channels differently. Um, that's not really what I want to get to. I want to do it in a, a mid-side mode. So we'll reset this back to it when there. And we'll switch the, the EQ. Should be an option for switch it to mid-side. Yep, so mid-side. So now if I want to bring up the, the mid, we can filter out all of the mids, right? So what I'm going to do is with the piano, we'll bring up the sides and we'll leave the mids a little bit um, less, but we really want to focus on the sides. So what I'll do is just boost all of that and then left the mid range, but just switch part it there already. So if we take down the, the sides, I mean, you just hear the mid, so I'm going to focus on the sides. So we'll turn this into a, not a, not a bell, but a, a shelf, high shelf at that, and we'll do a sharp shelf, and we'll boost. And don't forget, this is the, the sides, I mean, so let's bring that forward. Okay, do the same thing with this. Boost. So then, without the EQ, we have this. You know I mean? So we're gonna get rid of a lot of the mud, like me, so we don't want it anyway. The reverb one I use for this is the Native, in Native Instruments RC48, which is based off of the Lexicon, um, and it's a collaboration between them and SoftTube, and we'll use some SoftTube plugins later on, same way. So kind of have that situated or add some reverb to it. Then we'll send that to this piano channel or have right there. So, so route to this track only and then send it back to the reverb. So now if one just listen to the reverb by itself, we can do that. Just mute the piano. So that's the reverb for the piano you yeah, here. So we can up the signal. I mean, simple, simple, simple. Moving on. So add the percussions. We'll start with the track. So we'll solo out the intro. Well, some percussions are coming at the intro right here.
Then we'll have some different ones that come in on the second part. So let's focus on the first part real quick. All right, so what would I do? For this, we we'll do stock EQ and stock imager. preset I'm always use and then we'll filter out some of the brightness out of this. Let's make this look a bit rounder. Let's solar it out too. Create a bus channel for this. So rename percussion. And that's what all I'm like percussion and all of that type of stuff to go. So let's send that out to this channel only. Then we can add reverb to it now so we can hear the reverb by itself. And I mean, which is cool. So let's turn it back on. Let me say, I don't want too much of the brightness, I want it a little bit on a moody or darker side, but clean. Not too much bass either. So back with the piano. Sorry about that, let's turn on these. Let's introduce the perks for the second part now. All right, so my VST or more on test with this goes by the name of 10X. And it's, we don't know if you explain it specifically about what it do. Skit away pre, bro. So basically, this is some sort of image about it work differently, right? So the more we put in, just listen to the, the percussion. Just weird, you know what I mean? But it works. So I do about three in... Also use the hyperdrive. I probably left the hyperdrive. So with the truck. So I also have my producer tag in the intro. Now I'm worried about mixing that right now. I have an instrument that come in from Serum. I'm more worried about than my producer tag, to be honest. And that's really it for the intro. I don't really have that much sounds. So I have a plug that come in from Serum. This one. So I wrote that to Synths. Cool. Well, EQ that for this really need the stock EQ uh, after part. I mean, third party EQ not really gonna make no really difference as far as what we do, do, do. Really just a cut and boost. Now do nothing specific. So we just need a simple EQ. But then, if we spread it, we don't use the S1 from Waves. And the reason why I use the F um the S1 is just because of uh, simplicity, not a lot of effort, just push up one knob. 
I just want to make it as big as possible, so I'm going to lay it back with the piano. You know what I mean? Simple. So, done with the intro, let's move to the verse. So I'll just turn on instruments one by one. Remember the piano the main, and it's the background, it's the main melody, but it's also a background instrument after the intro. So I have to kind of be careful not to make it too present. I'll get a little bit more ear out of the synth. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Some reverb to it. If you solo it. Nice. So. Let's turn down pretty layer. Okay, cool. Let's go to Omnisphere, and we have this plucked kind of sound. Sound like a Thai piano. Let's bring that up. I mean, really like it. <laughs> um, I use the EQ for it for. So, if you watch. <clears throat> In my previous video, I mean, mix and some user plugin and what some love the plugin. That plugin that crazy for your EQ, I swear to God. So what I like about it is you can queue up a band and listen to it before you actually do nothing to it. You know what I mean? But we not really use the Q feature, we use the filter and the, the features and the, the regular EQ feature. So we use the filter first and get rid of some of this mod. Like the brightness. So one of the best thing about the EQ, you can boost a lot without destroying the audio. So if we turn on the first one, let's go to about 14, 13K, and then crank it all the way. Now I mean, so with a typical EQ, like if I come with the, let's say, Fab, not Fab, the FL Studio stock EQ, and do the same thing, we'll come to about 14K, so probably around, let's say, yes, yeah, so. so let's say this is 14. I will just push the signal to the maximum, you know what I mean? It just destroy the audio. It's not as clean, you know what I mean? So that's one of the things I'm really like about this, this EQ. It function different. It's just, it's amazing. So we're not going to push it all the way though. Just want a little bit of it. And then a little bit about 4K. So if we bypass the EQ, I mean it's on dark. I'm going to crank it. This song get bright and energetic, and I like that, so, with the track. So, my thing is, when I start, introduce more and more instruments, as I can say, so up to about five right now. You start for you know what I mean, kind of start crowd the truck. So that's when they start panning things left and right. So this is more of a central instrument, but 
I don't want it to be like that because we have other things that we we'll all use take up the the mid frequency them. Namely, some guitar. So I'm we'll use this preset and spread it a little bit. You know what I mean? Push it more wider, if you listen. Without it. With it. You know what I mean? It's just a wider sound, a bigger sound. Unfortunately, this plugin is only available in a FL Studio and swear. I want the only plugin where I know I'm going buy for sure if it's available somewhere else. Cool. So, next sound, let's go to Serum. This is a brass type of sound. So, same thing, one get a massive, a big feeling to it. And I mean, so what I'm going to do is insert a track, duplicate this down. Unique, make it unique, of course. Lock it to content, and then we'll put it in the mixer next to the other track. So we'll have one I go left and one I go right, if we can find the fucking thing. I believe I hit this. Yep, so I'll copy the volume. Go one of the same volume. Pierce. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, wrong song. Right, so let's delete that. Sorry about that. May copy the wrong fucking song. So let me delete that. F6, F9, and delete this. I'll just reset it. That's fine. All right, so what is one I'm going to turn on? This one, okay. Auto name. So just drag it down and do the same exact thing, make it unique. And then auto name. All right. Okay, so now I have it. Let's right click, file, save mixer, click and drag right next to it. And it copied pretty much everything. Now all I do is just link this to this. So now we have them in a like a stereo setup. You know what I mean? So if we push one left and one right, not too much mid-range, which is cool. So but what that do is it just allow me to get more room out of the sound. So, like I said, that's what I go for. We have a lot of instruments we incorporate, so I have to start push things around. And then what more use to bring back a little bit of the sound to the middle is the the reverb. As I can hear, if I turn them off, you hear the reverb for the, the right side because I sold out the right side, but you hear it on the left side. So when we cut on the reverb for the left, you don't hear it on the right, and it kind of bring them back a little bit more central, even though the signal directly now got to play down the center. So I'll just copy the reverb setting, same value and everything, and paste it on the second one. So paste it. And now we're supposed to, if we turn on the left, it's supposed to hear the reverb and the sound or sound very much normal. Now I mean? Yes, Kita, yeah, man. You know, I upload once YouTube done process it and everything in full entirety. Do your thing, man. So now, let's go in and tweak. Let's go EQ. Or do you just take out the lows, you know that? Nice like a shelf. Go 
cool. I'm going to know. See if the preset. I'll go serum brass stop. See if that open up the same EQ on the other channel and just load the preset so they mix the same thing there. You have the same amount of reverb, you know what I mean? So pretty much the same thing. It's just the panning that's different. So serum brass stop, stop, load. Cool. Perfect. Moving on. We have... That's the bass. I don't really want to use that yet. Let's go back to Serum. We have file two. File not right here. No, oh, hold on. Uh, Serum two and four, and then one up at the top. Regular. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is a part of the BS, so I'll create a bus for that. Rename BS. I will route that all the way to that, like that. You can do the same thing with Nexus, but nowhere to be found. So. Of a piano from Nexus. For that, I'll go waves. I'll go Money Maraquin EQ. Stereo. I have a preset for pianos inside of here. I will push this. I'll flip it first. Let's flip like the fears. And then we'll push it to the right. Or to the left. Sorry about that. So I push it left, but it'll come right because me flip the 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 way of farm so I'm push the left channel from the right so I'm just push up the left make the right side louder it's kind of like a unique um thing it weird but it work so add some verb cool Volume. What I want to do as well is get the Pull tech EQ from waves. And crank this to 7.5.
All right, so kind of figure out the piano. Um, but they just want to look a bit more out at it. Um, actually, take out a little bit more of the BS. I'm never really going to get the sound of more. As you can see, we're bringing the meter because, like I always say, minus five on my levels, so I don't mix, I don't really want to pass that. Right, we are creep close to it already, but you know, we go adjust as we go along, we just to get instruments them for sound right and balance and all of that, panning and all of that. So we get to that in a second. All right, cool. So let's bring in another one of these leads. Not doing any of the percussion, hi-hats, claps, and all of that because rather get the melodic instruments together first rather than do some simple things like that. So we have the first lead from VPS Avenger. So firstly, send it here. Add some reverb and a lot of reverb. Don't be afraid if you add reverb to your leads. So I'll go with 70% if you listen to it with it. I mean, like, as soon as I turn off the reverb, it just sounds dry, even though it has reverb on it already. You can never have too much when it comes to a lead. If you know how you use it, you can't have too much, just be careful. So let's blend that with the track. Let's also... EQ the sound. What the sound very, very light, very skinny when I want too much of nothing not going on. So fab filter stereo EQ. Remix, why pre bro, bro? Cool. But well, keep this setting trial. Reason mean we have a guitar where I'm gonna push left and right a little bit. So I have to kind of keep that in mind. Can lower the volume. So let's add another lead. This one is the Voxer. So this one will push 60 right. Our dear boats, and then we have another one as well, which is more of a pluck. We'll I'll push that fifty-five left. Let's turn it on as well. It's very low. I mean, but contrast. If we put the other lead with it. We just are trying to get everything its own space. So let's start mixing these into the truck. So let's firstly send them to the leads bus. We 
volume when I really need it, you know what I mean? When I need it for louder and not like that, we just need simple, effective EQing because it's not a one of them dominant instruments that it's just something where I just go sit um, and take up and just play a role, you know what I mean? It, not a major player. So we can turn it down a little bit more than that. We can add some reverb to be generous with it. And then typically my general rule of thumb is if it's not a dominant sound, what I typically do is keep on lower the volume until we can barely hear it to where we can almost not even hear it and then just bring it up back a little bit and it just always seems to work. Right there, right there seems to sound really, really good. Cool. Then for the pluck, or play it to the strengths of the pluck. So what I mean by that is, or EQ it twice. First we go cut to get rid of the mod, simple filter. Oh, sorry. And then I'm gonna use the pull tech and then play it to the strengths and show you exactly what I mean. All right, cool. So let's we'll do the cutting. So more is the pull down is now done. Let me say play it to the strength. So for bows, the BDS, or the body. Attenuate a little bit. Then we'll boost the highs now, 7.5. We'll boost 16K. Let's put that after the filter. Sorry about that. Band with a five, no EQ. You see, what I'm saying the sound sound thin, you know. What I mean, with the pull tech and the other EQ now, clear, clean, fat, bright, you know. What I mean, to say a few words outside of that it's on muddy but like i said we don't want it dominant is a background element so do it just like we do the other one and bring it down until we can barely hear it and then bring it back up a little bit <laughs> andrew i pray i pray nice sunday bro the same thing with the reverb and the reason i have all of them tracks over here so is now because i'm alone if you know go in and solo out individual instruments so if i want to take out all of the leads at once simply at the click of button you know what i mean so just like that Without having mute three different track, you know what I mean? I do a video for sure. I do a video show you know, for set up that whole little thing on my other one. Make mixing completely easy, I swear to God. So that should be it as far as the synths go. Everything else should be bass and percussion and a guitar. We don't do the 
the guitar next this is the loop and it is a sample i did not play this So I'm going to do it this door to get the sound bigger, insert two track. I'm going to duplicate this twice. So i make this unique. No, I'll make the other one unique. No, we do with the guitar loop or inside of the playlist already. They'll copy cross to empty truck. Put them right beside it. What am I gonna do with that now? It is right click on it, file, save, left click and drag, drop it. And I'll do the same thing again. File, save as, left click and drag it and put it right there. So, so. So I'll go upon the step sequence and I'll find the two guitar. I will just duplicate. So that would be number two and number three right here. And we do link them to track number three and four. So we have two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So if we go back to the playlist now and play, we have three individual guitar. One more to know, right click, Rename, let's name this guitar. I'll go hook. I'll put an L at the end because yeah, we don't put a right at the other one. So paste, and then we'll go. Actually, we'll make this left. I'll make the other one right just for going in order. Left come before right anyway. So, All right. um, then I'll push one left, one right. One or make play straight, strictly mono down the center. So, like that. So, if we turn off the left and right, if we just play the left by itself, right by itself, and that's how you do that. I'll send all three of them to the bus for my create for the guitars. Then, I'll send the left and right to the reverb, 40%. Now I mean, so now we'll make the sound bigger. Again, reason being, like I explained earlier, because I send the left signal to a reverb where I play a stereo, both left and right, where I get some bleed over upon the right side. And then when we send the right, side of the guitar signal to the reverb we don't get some bleed over upon the left so what that don't end up do it go end up force the reverb for kind of um the guitar for kind of get a bigger stereo image because we already have it fully left fully right and then fully down the center and then we have an extra layer now or just straight reverb where they cover everything so without the reverb I hear nothing, you know what I mean? Because that's just the reverb signal where I hear right now. This are the guitars itself. Um, <laughs> say different from usually make. Um, for tell you too, well, first, new child, I really mean, um, it don't drop, <laughs> I don't know when. Um, a long time ago, I already mean, I do, but it end up, I did a try record already mean, as, um, one of the, if I produce for a video, them, but the fucking computer, it start lag out, so I end up, they just low it. Um, so I'm not sure. And then, and the reason why I make it, say it's so different, it, it, it's a, wouldn't say, um, typical dance hall. It's like a, some like a crossover, but it, it start off as a sample, you know what I mean? And then we build everything else around it, to be honest. So that's why I might be a set sound a little bit different. So, with everything playing, minus the kicks and all of them smaller thing there, let's lower all of this. Mm -hmm. 
I took out the left and the right side and our EQ nigga. And what I'm going to do with it is I want it as thin as possible to be honest. So not really even stress about no sort of BS or not like that. We have to take out everything out of that. It's a mono EQ. Below, anything below 300, I get cut. I set this to 300. And now the low cut, 96 dB per octave. And now we'll boost. We'll do a, a shelf, of course, so high shelf, 48 dB per octave. And we'll do about a 3 dB boost. Cool. Then we turn on the left side. I'm going to send this to a delay as well. You know what I mean? And we'll do pretty much the same thing I'll we'll just do with the fab filter EQ, but this time we'll just use the regular FL EQ. But pretty much the same type of cut might not boost as much but all right so quick trick quick trick no i confuse nobody so what i'm gonna know with the guitar is notice when i'm a player you can't really tell say a two guitar play so what i'm gonna do with them is more delay one of the guitar so I'll right click on this or will click on this we we'll go set in millisecond, and we we'll go delay the 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 guitar upon the left and the right different times. So the first one we we'll do delay that by twenty four millisecond. So now you can hear a difference, and I mean it no sound as natural as it when I sound just now. If we reset it, sound like I just one guitar play, and I mean it. So our order is. Set again millisecond, or the 12 for the left, and then or the 24 for the right. So we get like an, an even bigger stereo image once again. Or we'll copy the volume on the left and the right on the same volume level. So we'll paste that there, so, and we'll bring them to them at the same time. Official click. Big up yourself, brother. Yeah, man. So all I try to, brother, I just help somebody. You know what I mean? For real. So, with everything now, with the widened guitars and all that, and what we do now is also add reverb to the bus itself. Then adjust the volume. And then on the guitar bus itself, what I'm do is add a compressor from soft tube. CL1B. Oh, I'm gonna say it's emotional. Um yeah, but I'm not telling it like I want me to hear it. <laughs> It it's crazy and you can tell probably by the name it's called Soul Discovery. So you know what I mean it definitely have an emotional thing I go on to it. And another crazy fuck, the same compressor in a real life, I think is about eight thousand dollar feet. You know what I mean? So <laughs> if you all always say plug in expensive, go try buy the real thing and see how much your blood class spend. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is more get the guitar up on a, a lever and more and bring it up and bring it forward. So for that, we'll do fast release for start. We'll do fast attack for start. And then threshold, we'll do about minus 20 for start as well. 
thing is sticky. I reassure you all though, look a bit closer to, I wonder if we can set it, can set the number. Oh, fuck you, soft you. About three to one. And the gear, and we'll left that for right now. We can always adjust that later. So as you can see, we are getting a lot of compression. So let's crank up the release. Look a bit slower release now. Look a bit slow attack as well. All right, so we'll get about 3 dB of gain reduction, so we'll add back 4 dB of gain. Without the compressor active. David, I pray, I pray, brother. Damn, man. Um, remember, they sent me a rhythm a while back. If you can, text me the name on WhatsApp, please. Come remember, me did finish up some rhythm other day and I try to figure out who the hell to send them to me. So if you can do that, brother, send me the name of the rhythm there. Or the name of the file, if you can remember. And um, let me see if I want to hear something I can send it back. All right, so the bus itself now, we'll all turn that down. Firstly, with our link, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More link up all of them boss yeah, with somebody key them on me, me midi, my keyboard. Or no, you would yeah, somebody midi thing them on my keyboard so I can adjust them as we go along. So let's press control and J. Move the control. So we have drums, claps, snares, synths, guitar, piano. Synth lead, percussion, and um, bass. And control J again and start link. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So let's go and close this. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And now into the meat of the matter, the drums. to the drums. Start with the club. Okay, simple club. Mono. Roll to this track only. Club seem a little bit thin. Okay. Seems a little bit thin, so let's reinforce that a little bit. EQ. High. Mid. Low. All right, cool. All right, so the reason I'm doing that, I'm just kind of just identify the frequency I'm gonna want. And in this case, we don't want the highs a little bit, so. Or just filter them out. Cool. Right click, delay, bring this back a little bit. Now we have a little bit of a wider clap. Let's turn on the bass and boost the mid range. All right, so still I got a little bit more to the left than to the right. So simply fix that. We can just pan it a little bit to the right. Still. Perfect, even. So now, now, from that reverb, nice. Oh, 
quote. Now, I have more claps for Leah with this, so this is nothing right now. It's just a clap. Then we figure that later. So, sneers. All right. Waves. SSL EQ. I have a preset called fuck. <laughs> the preset the name fuck. <laughs> Load up the wrong blood clot instrument. Um, so come on, God. Oh, yes. SSL EQ, not compressor. Sorry about that. Um, stereo, because I'm not sure if I do nothing. Um, stereo with that snare. I will just load snare presence. And it's supposed to brighten up the snare a lot. Let's turn off the guitars. Actually, let's turn off all of the leads and just focus on the percussive elements, you know. Guitars as well. And then we have this thing from contact, right? I'll make you hear it. It's a very faint string, but the no, left it exactly where right there. We don't really need it if you have no volume, to be honest. And we actually kind of forget about it, but we never did end up use it. So more just left it where they make it lower as it's on, and, and that's it. I mean, ways. <laughs> I pray, bro. Uh, so you can see some kick seem as if it's limited, it's not. It's just become a render it out um, at minus six. Um, one more do forget about the volume in my kick though, is normalize it. And that should bring me back to zero. Now I mean, so now we can just adjust the volume. Wrote this to the drums, wrote the drums to the bass, side chain it anyway, and then we can bring in the bass from Nexus and Serum. We have two separate bass for that track here. The first one doesn't really sound like a bass. Know what I mean, but it is a bass, so I'm gonna do forget about the volume in that as well as we don't normalize that to the same way. Bring about the volume up. Cool. Then we'll route that to the BS. Already done that. We'll go slot one, introduce the fab filter, pro C2, side chaining purposes, of course. And we we'll know side chain this through the drums. So now we're supposed to have a dip. Where is the drums at? Okay. Right. So I click. All right. Why is this thing not playing? One second. Let's go back. Settings. Input. None. Side chain drums. Okay. Now I mean, so the volume dip every time the kick play. We'll bring back the Nexus BS now as well. And you know that after the body, the other BS after the color. We don't come to empty channel, right? Click on it, rename. Or name this punish because of the name of the VST one we about to use by far. One of the most underrated distortion unit or saturation unit on the market. And mark my words, it's very fucking good. Yo, John C, big up yourself, bro. 
Some of them is what take the base, bust itself or left it normal, but we don't run the signal from the serum and nexus into the bus. So listen to the difference and load the preset. Matter of fact, it's a custom preset, so I load that. No, I love that feature that all oh, the blood clotting just come alive, I swear. <laughs> so I'll send the signal from the Nexus to the to the punish and just listen to all oh, the BS just come alive. Alright, so we need to change the side chain real quick, so sorry about that. So drums. So just watch how the BS just start stand out the more we send the signal to the to the punish. We know we want the color though, we don't want it. You know, we don't want that. We just want a little of the color. You know what I mean? Look at it. Supplements. Nobody tell me nothing. Reverb. But a sign base can make a whole lot of difference. I'll stream if you know what's going All right, so that's that. Let's send serum that we know. Let's turn off the Nexus. Firstly, let's figure out how much of the serum would all send to the BS itself. Like we said, we use it for color, so we don't need too much of it. We can also just EQ it, to be honest, completely. So for that, multiband, because... You know what? Just one constant EQ processor going upon it. For those who don't know, multiband EQ is nothing but a fucking compressor or a multiband compressor with individual frequencies. The same exact fucking thing. A DSR is also just a compressor. So when you hear all of them fancy fucking name, the same thing they recycle over and over. You know what I mean? Them just a serve a specific purpose. Just like what we don't show with this. So this F6 is just a multiband compressor. Or another term for it would be a dynamic EQ. Same thing. Same exact fucking thing. A compressor, expander, and a gate. Same exact thing. A gate is just a reverse of a compressor. So instead of making a sound louder, you know what I mean? The gate would have cut off a sound once it get lower than the threshold. Instead of bringing it up, it will bring it down. You know what I mean? That's just one side of a compressor. Compressor can either squash or raise the volume. So don't make the, the terms confused. This is nothing but a compressor. What we do do is, like I said, we want certain frequencies in the bass to still come through, but I don't want to EQ them because if I EQ it, it all just constant. You know what I mean? It now go reverse. So if let's say we take a frequency out of the bass. So let's solo it out first. Right. So let's say we want frequency six or you know what I mean, whatever. So let's say we set that to Hertz wise, we'll set that to let's set that to 15k, so 15,000, right? But we want at a certain point, we want the frequency to come down in a volume a little bit just to allow a different thing to come through, but we don't want it disappear completely. Notice not now go on right now, you know what I mean? That's because we're not setting a range yet. So when we set the range now, we'll say we want it lower the volume. Once it passes the threshold, we want to lower the range volume to about 6 dB lower. You know what I mean? So let's say we want it to go 10 dB lower. Now, once it passes the threshold, you see it says start lower the volume. 
you know what I mean? So it's a squash, whatever the sound might sound like at a frequency, I've me solo it out. So whatever the play around here, so. No, you can barely hear anything, you know what I mean? So what we can do for that is we can widen up the cue. We can make it a little bit larger. So now we start here while going. You know what I mean? So it's, let me say it's pretty much a compressor and you can set how fast you want it, do it, how long you want it, hold on for and all of that and this and that. It's just a fucking compressor. Don't make them bomb buckler thing, yeah. Confuse, yeah. Um, so I specs for the computer. <laughs> um, whether, um, we have what? Um, 16 core processor, 32 gig of RAM, DDR4. I have about if I go on my, my computer, hard drive for kill, um, space for kill. Everything I'm have pretty much the an individual thing, you know what I mean? So I have one hard drive for my drum kit, one hard drive for my library, them for my VST. Like all of my big library content and all of them things, they, they pan this hard drive, yeah. All of my VST, them they pan my local C hard drive. Then all of my contact thing, them they in a one separate hard drive. So it not really affect my computer like that. But FL student are really optimized for really take advantage of my computer bridging for telling the truth. So that's why a lot of the times you see computers start buffering all of them fucker because FL student itself are fucker. You know what I mean? Cool. Let's also address this first frequency. We don't put this about 60. We don't make the range for this minus 6. Threshold we don't set to minus 25. Attack, we want this attack really fast. So we'll set that to 0 or 0 0.5 at the lowest. You know, this case here. And release will make that really, really quick as well. Cool. Let's close that and put this back in the track now. Actually, let's send this to the punish to get some of the color. Man, I swear that's just amazing. And now let's adjust based on the rest of the track. Yo, bro, I say, I run in Caribbean, French, West Indies. <laughs> Why pray, brother? Yeah, man, I be a good vibes we deal with, brother. Be a blood clot, good vibes, you know. I big producer, them carry the bad vibes, you know. All right, so if you start look at the meter now, you notice that we're up there about minus two, which is approaching mastering levels. That's not good. But all we have to do is lower the volume. It's not that bad. It's just a volume thing. And then because we are sending the signal to punish, we are get a lot of extra signals. So if we take that out, now I mean, we'll come back to Earth a little bit where they are minus three, minus four. So that's normal. It's nothing too bad all we have to lower the volume and blend it in then we can put in the bigger claps now Now I mean, for this, what we don't use EQ wise, we don't go with, um, yeah. we'll go with the 550. Also send this to its boss. Let's color these bosses so them stand out. So right click change color and we'll go with yellow or cream. And Outside of that, now we'll just add some body and some some presence to the club, as well as a shit on a reverb and a little bit of delay and a little bit of the distortion. Cool. So that's all of the, the effects what they panned. That's not the clap itself. 
So if we listen to them, then if we put on the clap now, you know what I mean? But like I would say without boost, the some of the frequencies the more we like. So let's turn on all of the frequencies first. All right, so high, about 12K or 12 and a half, according to this. We go put about uh, 40 begin. All right. Actually, I'll go a little bit more than that. Cool. Like that. It's crispy. And you know what I mean? It's very bright. I'll do another one right about 4K. All right, cool. And then in the mid range now, I'll do a more drastic. Cool. So now we can address the, the brightness by just simply removing a little bit from the top end. Okay, let's take out a little bit of the mids. Nice. Now, let's go back to here. Let's go on the clap itself, add the stereo shaper, and delay the signal a little bit so we can get a bigger sound. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's a little bit more to the left than to the right. So just like earlier, we'll just pan it a little bit more to the right to kind of balance it back out. Too much. Perfect. Perfect. Almost perfect. Let's go one little smidge. A little bit more. Perfect. So with a truck. Nice, nice. Remember all the earlier the clap did low? Now we, we turn up in them blood clap face. Cool, nice. For the bus itself, for add a little bit of reverb. Not a lot, probably not even noticeable, but just a little bit. Then we have one more clap now. This is the real big clap. Oh, it's not actually. So, not too much to do, simple. Cut and boost. Boost high. So, low shelf, high shelf. I mean. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, I'm glad you know. Yeah, man, cause crazy enough, you said that about the rendering, right, Andrew? If I come now, and this one I like, and this one I like, one of the features I like about FL20, even though I still fuckery, I can just come like this and go boom, and I have the project how I create it, you know what I mean? So, this are the original project, you know, the original farm with everything when me lay it out and all of that, and you know what I mean? But my bunks it out. Yeah, man, because if me did I play them VST averaging and I run fucking Omnispear and Nexus and all of them serum and everything to get averaging a long time, I turned this a blood clad stream, yeah. And I'm gone on my blood clad bed. Stream would have done a long time, brother. You know what I mean? I love FL. Don't get me wrong, brother. You're talking about that for life. I love FL. I would have never changed. But the man them can improve, brother. I swear, them can improve. What? Enough things added to FL, brother. What I mean, think I'm gonna love for them add to FL Studio. It's like a reason set up where reason give you the compressor and the EQ and all of them stuff that in the channel rack itself. But I love for FL implement something like that, brother. Where you know take up as much RAM for you to load up, load up much at fucking compressor because it's already integrated into the DAW. You know what I mean? But time will tell. You know what I mean? Hopefully them improve them. Just lucky so I can't use nothing else right now. I'm gonna go on long blood clot time. I'm gonna suck them, mother. 
And then David, um, Waves EQ, tell you the truth, Regin, but don't really use Waves EQ like that. I use the F6 because it's a multiband compressor. Like I say, um, as far as EQ from Waves do, the SSL EQ, the Manny Maraquin EQ are two good ones. Um, the SSL because, well, you know, SSL and it just it have a quality to it, you know what I mean? But the Manny Maraquin EQ is versatile. Um, and Waves have so much fucking EQ that right? it's really hard for, for, for tell. 100%. Me personally, my favorite EQ is the, the Fab Filter Pro Q. That's number one. Second favorite are the regular stock EQ I come inside of FL Studio. I love that EQ there really, really much. Um, and then below that is just a bunch of analog stuff. As I can say, one may use a lot of analog gear while I'm doing what I'm doing. I mean, so between the H series and the F6, I don't really use the H series. I use the H series with reverb and delay. Couldn't really tell her um, nothing about the EQ, brother. I mean, I lied to you, you know what I mean? All right, cool. Right here. Clock. Just to make sure so I have everything wrote up a certain way. And then this is another thing with me having everything rotated over here. So if something might get too loud, if I feel like something might get too loud, you know what I mean? I'm going to just bring it under control. All I have to do is put a compressor upon it, lower the volume or something. And you know what I mean? Just, just bring it back down to earth. So like the claps kind of get a little bit, you know what I mean? Thick, or not thick, but bright. Because there's so much of them. So what I'm going to do is just simply put a limit upon it, put a ceiling upon it and bring them back to earth a little bit. I mean, just like that, simply, because they don't get too low. So just a control it. And if them get too low, we can just raise the ceiling and bring them back up in a volume. So that's not it for percussions. We know I have something else. All right, we have claps, we have this, we have that. When I'm I at, when is my make bomb buckler already without I at tonight? hear them living in the power <laughs> yo so far so far i'll play it all the way through real quick
Yeah, fams. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> um, you know, I said something about Ali and Sonic. Um, how we get this left? Alright, so yeah, um, Hallian, for tell you the truth, brother, I'm gonna start out with music. Like, the first day of the bomb, I really kind of did get a grasp of a QBS. Um, Hallian specifically, it's straight, it's nice, but, um, hold on. Yeah, um, what I like about Hallian is our, it, it, it have a lot of features to it. And I mean, we never really get to try it out, we did download it, but we never really did install it. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just never really grew up on me, if I tell you the truth. I like QBS and all of that, still one of my favorite DAWs, but I kind of grow myself out of QBS. Not saying it's, I never like it, but I just not use it in a so long. It's like, it don't make no sense for me even go back and start learning from scratch. So that's that with QBS. But to me, QBS or Steinberg is probably Steinberg at Innovator. I don't know that. I'm start the whole VST thing fully. And if I notice everybody will make VST, them credit and say VST, da 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 da. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever license to Steinberg or some something. But a Steinberg start the whole VST thing the real, real way. You know what I mean? So. I forgive thanks for him. Holly and straight, I just never really use it like that, bro. I'm not telling a lie. All right, so I'll bring this clap five in. So with any type of crash or whatever, typically EQ them, them, even though they never really have nothing to it, but sometimes I just want them brighter and lighter, you know what I mean? So. So in this case, I'll EQ it or send it to the percussions boss and then send it to the reverb as well. Now I mean, so I'll turn it down, put a little bit more reverb on it. So the thing with it is when you do that and you have a crash after, you kind of want the, the fade in and the crash for the on the same level. You know what I mean? So the crash right after the... You know what I mean? You either want it a little bit louder like that or you want them on the same level, to be honest. So something to be mindful of. Me, in my case, more of the crash a little bit louder with a little bit more reverb on it because I want it to have more of an impact. You know what I mean? Or add a little bit of delay if you get some after effects. Then for the louder one, more just use the regular built in channel EQ. Now, if you have a good ears for music, you can hear this fucking string from Kantak just in the track and just now nah, go away. No matter what me add, no matter what instrument me add, me keep on and hear this thing. Just in the fucking background, just a fight for your little chance to shine, Regina. I swear to God. We don't know if anybody else will pick up on it. Most probably not listen for the melody there, but the thing just did it. They fight your fuck, Regin. Like, no matter what my ad, how loud the track be, we just I hear it and I hear it and I hear it and I hear it. Just a 
beat down the door to try to come through, bread shit. I'm not going to touch it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to touch it, I'm blood clot. <laughs> oh, boy. a bit more verb all right so from a producer tag we have a full plug-in chain so we'll just right click and load that in All right, so um, let's turn that down. I don't know what channel I want to send it to, so I'll just leave it alone for right now. Add a little bit of verb. Notice it get lower, that's because we'll compress it and I do a bunch of stuff to it. All right, so let's. All right, look a bit too distant, and I mean it not as bright as what I wanted. Wanted a pop. For whatever reason. Let's adjust the DSA and the LA to a So let's bring back this to 65. Perfect. Let's lower the volume. Absolutely wonderful. Look a bit more. Now, let's see what everything sounds like together. Now, we have other parts to mix, namely some guitar samples right here, right here. And I believe there's another one, but let's just play the sense real quick. Yeah, you know, so that my come for find out, David, bro, so, um, Sonic had a new version of fucking um, Hypersonic. Um, I actually did that thing for Byte, for tell you the truth, because to me, Hypersonic is just like a, it's one of them timeless VST. It's like a good hit song. It don't last forever. It's just, it's that good, I swear to God, to this day. I have always a hypersonic handy and it's so hard to find is like a treasure to ask glad. But I never actually check out um, Sonic. Probably don't download a demo and see why I pray. You know what I mean? And if I like it, I'll probably grab it because I know Steinberg VST, they're not really that expensive. So we see though how everything I go. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I use hypersonic in another track here, but probably was in consideration. Yeah, so everything sound good. Um, like I said, we have a couple melodic pieces in the verse. Or more I'm blending, so we'll do that, you know. We have a couple of like, guitars in the verse, so we'll blend in. So the first one is this one from Slayer, which is um, a VST made by the same people. I make Nexus. So I'm going to do with this is man try something. And if this don't work, then this not going to end up in a rhythm, none at all. So I'll go waves. <laughs> We're almost hour and a half with the Iron Fud. But I'll re-upload it once, once it's done processing, you know what I mean? So you can watch the whole entire thing, bro. 
um, wants CLA guitars. So like I say, if this don't work, then I'm not going to use this this um, guitar part, none at all. So if I turn off this, uh, I switch this to clean as well. Without the effect. With it. Don't like it. Want some with a lot of effects on it. Let's see what this sound like. So, step one. Step two, gatekeeper. Now, this is really starting to turn into ear candy, you know what I mean? So, what I'm going to do with gatekeeper is just kind of finish the process. So, what I mean by that is... You know what I mean? Some along them lines, they want... Do something weird with it. We don't want it just play normal. And then we have the last two where we don't mix in, and that should be that. And like I said, there are some samples as well. So let's see if the preset them load. I'll wait for the preset them for load for this what list blood clav VST. Yeah. Let's see what this look like. Oh boy. Okay, they're ready. So ready, Nick. Dynamic reverse, discard. You know what I mean? So when I play that now in another track, crank up the volume a little bit so you can hear it. You know what I mean? It gives a uh, style, is a, you know what I mean? It's a ear candy type of flavor to it. So if you finish it, if you polish it completely now, or go sound feel, or go pun man. We don't make it not only jump up and down, but we'll make it bounce left and right. Same way. So we'll go greedy make pans and we'll go four per side and check out that answer. Matter of fact, we'll go ball bounce and see what that sound like. So if we solo it out, listen to the masterpiece. Without all of the effects on it. And then with the effects on it. Wait. Okay, so I forget say this thing is a fucking wave file. Excuse me. So it ain't gonna start back until the wave file trigger again. So this is without all of the effects. Cool. This is with the effects. But in the truck, it make a whole world of difference though. And it make by some people named um, Polyverse, um, David, um, what the fucking, them have another one for me. I um, have not gatekeeper name manipulate. I'm use that in a different video too, where it can kind of transform sounds and all of that. You know what I mean? Um, all right, but you know with the brother, link me on WhatsApp and send me an email, brother. A small thing, brother. I mean, you know, when I buy nothing, you know. <laughs> So now, 
we have come down to the guitar parts that I have talked about and Mackenzie did right when he said it. He's emotional. I love already, man. You're fucked. So, right, that's so how we have two guitar parts start, right? So, we have the first part of the first, so we have to kind of balance out the levels for that thing I see him here. All right, so remember earlier when I talked about multiband and all of them type of thing there this is where our one case where a multiband compressor would come in very 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 handy so for this i want to use the fab filter multiband mainly because we want control two different spots all right so when the initial volume come in it's very loud you know what i mean so one kind of get that under control so firstly we'll put three separate bands or we'll do one here or we'll do one here and we'll do one all the way out at the top here we'll switch this from dynamic phase to linear phase now notice how the curves go smooth out when we switch it to linear phase you know what i mean so it's more of an equal you know what i mean that's all that do so first, we need to set thresholds and all of that. All three of them will set the same threshold. So I'm going to figure out which one trigger first and then set the threshold based on that. So now the middle, or the middle one, threshold set to minus 18. So we'll set everything to minus 20, like 18, but more than 20. So I set this to minus 20 as well. Cool. So now what is the initial attack? You get that 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 initial dip. You know what I mean? But for the rest of it, you know what I mean? You know get that. So that is one more kind of use the multiband compressor and bring down. You know what I mean? So if you do that, we need a slow release when it when it happens. So for the release, we'd all go 50% upon all three of them. Actually, go, go a little bit on the higher side for the last one. So we got 60%. For this low one down here, we don't leave the threshold at 18. We'll do a fast, fast attack and we'll do a 55% release. So look close to fast. All right, cool. Let's set the threshold now a little bit lower. So we'll go minus 25. All right, still no other initial bite there like that. So we'll go up with the release. Too slow. See what I'm saying? Still a recover. So we'll go 70. That's a lot better. Same thing up top. We'll set this to minus 25. And we'll set release to 60%. And the rest of the signal is perfectly fine. So now, you know the track. And then we can go up on the output and put in a DB just to compensate for a little bit of, you know what I mean? Same thing here, 1.5. Perfect, like that. So now we can move on into the second set of guitars, which are these. Capodan. I pray, brother. I pray, I pray, I pray. Yeah, and I saw Nana with that board, you fuck. <laughs> All right, so experiment time, right? This last track next to the punish, more rename it. I'll put tape. Because we don't introduce no tape machines. Why? Because them guitar more and give them a, a flavor, an old school flavor to it. Sound like a surfboard music, you know what I mean? Like some Hawaii type of thing. But we want to give them a different type of sound. So we're bringing the J37. We don't switch this from to a send return and we don't do. Hmm. Let's go. 
We don't want no, not like a that we want some type of high saturation type of thing. So we, we jump through the presets. So let's solo out the guitar. Of course, without sending to the guitar's boss, right click, go to the shock only. But then now, without sending it to the tape boss, so we can hear the exact effect what we have put upon the, upon the sound. So if we solo out that portion here, and solo out the guitar, no, that's not it. Which one? Which one? Okay, this is it. So if you turn off the guitar and left the tape machine on and turn up the send, you will hear only the affected signal. So that I want the tape machine I do, you know what I mean? Based on the signal what we are sent. So we need to find the tape machine now and change the type of effect what it go on. So let's just browse through the presets. All right, so we have this, which is kind of like a flanger. So if we send more of the signal, let's see what happens. It gets louder, but it's same effect. All right, let's see what that sound like in the truck, or with the other truck. start together with the tape machine it's just wider you know what I mean and it add a different character to the song which is nice so I would know if we get looking more grit or add this to the punish so this are just the affected signal without the regular signal. I mean, and then, oh, do, back into the truck now. Notice how it just sit down and just did it and just in place and nah, you nah lose it, you can follow right along. So if we, trans, if we do the whole verse, right, let's bring this back. And play the whole verse from the I take out my tag out of the verse though, so we just focus on the instruments. And then for bringing it out now, vacation done. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to left for you the blood clot there. We have another emotional piano, you know what I mean? I want a piano about guitar. So, matter of fact, let's play the two of them together. You know and I mean, I would just have bring out. We just have done it off and go back into the chorus. So, I'm going to do a process both of them the same exact way. So, all we do that is with FL, simple. What's up? Oh, it's cookies. <laughs> Here I come. Um, data. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so without knowing, actually, I think make a mistake and send the signal. 
send the wrong signal. Okay, no, 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 no. It's, it's right. Sorry about that. It's right. So, let me say, we'll send the same amount of signal. So, all we do is copy the value for each of them, click on the other channel, and then paste that channel to, or paste that on the same knob. So, go back and we'll copy now the tape machine settings and paste it here. Then we do, could I swim around the thing? Oh, wrote the wrong thing. Send that to the wrong channel. Fuck. Wrote to here. And then we're supposed to have a little bit of that and a little bit of that. All right. So now let's wrote this to the guitars by itself. Turn off that. Listen to the effects. Not you. What the fuck going on? All right, so I have that up here. Why am I not here? No, no. This thing sound mute, like what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> some all right. So we keep on to forget, right? The even though this play before, and this is what confused me, like a fucking idiot. This play before this, but in a the mixer, this is the track before, and I mean this one come after. So many other things say this a track you're supposed to the play when in actuality it, it doesn't play like that in other track. So that's my fault. They are try to figure out fucker. But um, if we listen to them, do I can hear so them really like sit on which part them for the no type of fighting for space or nothing like that. And that is all down to the panning and all of that. Space management. <laughs> oh, them don't link me yet. But I don't want people like me in them business, brother. People like me, you know, build for, for Jamaica music business, you know what I mean? Because we know. We know we no fight nobody, you know what I mean? Me no sit down here so I show people how me mix my song them because me no want them know for mix, you know what I mean? You know I see them when they do that. Every time I see them, I post them, I post a picture of them, I record a song. You know, see a man sit down and I say, yo, this how me do this, this how me do that. Them no do that. People like me, I no believe for them music, brother. You know what I mean? Me busting up, because boy, I may tell her. You know, no, it's different, you know, but, you know, it will happen, word I'm out, you know, something... Something goes shake eventually. We force away in eventually. But people like me now, no build for Jamaica music, brother. Because we're not bad mind, you know what I mean? We're kind people. I mean, sound good, sound really, really good. Um, let me jump back over to the original. Um, I have this thing that I need. Let me bounce this little piece right here. And that right away. Right and consolidate from start. 
This is one of the best things about FL Studio. So if we do that, consolidate from truck start, boom. And we'll just render that in place, start. Should have a truck. Cons yep, consolidated. So let's rename this real quick. Wait there. Rename. And put vocals. V. Boom. So now if we go back to the mix stems, we can drop that to another playlist. Like so. Squad. <laughs> yeah. I believe me just rendered out the wrong fucking file. <laughs> Go back to the step sequence. Huh? Why this thing I play? It's squad. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. I'll show you a couple of things about vocal mixing, right? So first of all, disclaimer, I am not a professional singer by no means. <laughs> you know what I mean? But just the I'm get the vibe I'm saying, no, I'm a record idea or whatever. Some work, you know what I mean? So we got to work. You know, normal. <laughs> so... Let's say it's so the vocal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of them are The record is yeah, the artist. come from, you know. And you know, it's a long road to the top, you know. But me willing for it, you know, because we had the patience, you know. We are putting in the work, you know. Hear me now, man? Huh, huh. You don't have to like me, because I don't really care. I mean, so record that the tune on it, so it kind of have some processing. It have a little bit of a compression on it. I can see say it's not that dynamic, um, but it's still dynamic in, in, its, in its own way. So what we can do with it, you know what I mean, from a mixed perspective is really, really intuitive. So firstly, first thing I always do, EQ, cool? So for that fab filter, stereo, no, mono, always mono. It's vocals. Unless you do some type of panning with it, you want a mono EQ. 100% of the time. No. EQ. With my voice, me know some my voice deep. So me know me don't really need to cut too much at the bottom end of my voice. Me like to cut anywhere from 100 to 150. So that's exactly what me do. do. And you can always play. That's one of the benefits to using these parametric EQs. You can play it and see the frequency. So I know anything below this range right as so I can cut. So simple, just get a low cut, boom, cut that. Switch this to 96 dB per active, really sharp. Vice get a little bit brighter already. No, you can cut more certain frequencies than the vice I'm not like. Too many are the processes. I know so certain things in there were well, already get cut out. But just let's say, for instance, we have something in the one. Let's just listen to our frequency. One right there, so. Come boom, minus six. Get rid of that. You don't have to like me, cause I don't really care. 
I have another one right there. So like I said, they do a little bit of processing already. So that's not really that important. Just a little bit of a cut. That's called subtractive EQing. No, we are going to additive EQing. We'll pick a different EQ now with our boost frequencies, right? Another thing, there's a myth about EQ before compressor, compressor before EQ. It's all about you and what you want. If you want to EQ the sound, if you shape the sound, change the tone of the sound before you compress it, go ahead and EQ before you compress. If you want to compress the sound before you try and shape the sound with an EQ, do that. It's all up to you. Music is not no fucking rules. It's whatever the fuck you want to do. Another man can't tell you how to do what you do. You just do what him do in a your own way. And I mean, you take what him show you and just learn if you do that in a your own way, which is exactly what I do with my old kind of setup. Because I never really have nobody who could have shown me how to mix and all of them things there, dance all, because just like I said, no, I don't know show them things there, bro. I don't know show them sitting there. So what I do, I watch some of them internet, you know what I mean, people here and certain people in the industry who are doing other side of music from dance hall. I'm going to take one of my show and just try to implement it and here we are today. You don't have to like me Cause I don't really care I'm going to be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't have to like me Come in and really care Now I mean, cool. You want me to take out a little bit too much of my voice that kind of start get boxy and nasally sound like I may chat to my nose. So I bring back a little bit of the body. Like I said, my normal cut to 150 and that's exactly what I end up about 150, 152 to be exact. What I'm going to do with this at EQ and now is just take some frequencies, boost them, give my voice a nice little polish on top. You don't have to like me. Cause so first, we'll go 16K, crank it all the way. You don't have to like too much skill back. You don't have to like me, cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year. Cool, that's fine. Second frequency, we are go about 5k. You don't have to like me, cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing. Notice my voice can start to tear a little bit. Just mean I push it a little bit too hard. One way you can do that, I can bring down the input. You know and I mean? Bring down the volume while you push into, while you use process. And I can bring down the signal while I come in before it start get processed. You don't have to like me, cause I don't really... Bypass. You don't have to like... It just sound boring, dry and worthless. You don't have to like me, cause I don't... Really and just with the snap of a button, bring up the body, the life, and all of that into the track. So when I do stuff like that, it's typically recommended for you go through now and start DS kind of, you know, clean up the signal a little bit. So that's how I do it. Fab filter, dynamic, and we'll kind of tone up the signal a little way. And you know what I mean? Need a better door. So, moment the DS I push my vocals down about 8 dB when it cranked too high and it's just too sibilant and all of them, all of them things that come through. You don't have to like me, cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year. Nice. Just like that is, you know what I mean, already kind of a lot more under control. Out of the days, I will go into a compressor now. Like I said, compressor DSI is the same thing. Just listen to the fucking name. The only thing is the DS are going on a specific frequency, whereas the compressor don't take the entire signal. So for that, we'll use the... Um, which compressor more I use? Which compressor more I use? I'll we'll go with the 670 from GEM. reason I picked this is... Kind of just, it's somewhat grew up on me. It's just a grew up on me. The actual, this compressor is based off uh, 
the Fear Child 670, right? So if I go up on Google right now, I look up a Fear Child 670. Well, show sure that thing, right? Show sure, no, say. When you say plug in expensive, them cheap. Cheap, you fuck. This is the real life cost for this very compressor I use. $10,000. I mean, so when I say, yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> Imagine what a real blood clot hardware costs. But it's very good. The plug-in is also very good. Let's dial in. So what about 3 dB a compression? One of us under control, I know. First, let's link these up so they move. Together, let's increase the threshold, not the threshold, the input gain. We'll get more compression. He don't feel like me. So let's link them. He don't feel like. Let's make the attack a little bit slower. He don't feel like me. Cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion. Start. Even slower than that. He don't feel like me. Cause I don't really care. And turn up the output. A little bit, not a lot. Parallel. A little bit, but. 96%. Then aside from that, we should be good. He uh, don't feel like me. Cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year. You don't feel like me. Come in and really care. Cool. With the truck. He uh, don't feel like me. Cause I don't No, notice my voice kinda sound like a bit of buried in you know it. Simple fix, reverb. So let's swallow this. He don't feel like me, cause I don't. Or add a little bit of the tip, a little bit of the punish. He don't feel like me, cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year. More reverb, and now listen to my voice. Now the same track without even moving the volume. And as I can see, the volume is a little bit lower than the rest of the feeders. But just listen to me now. He don't feel like me, cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year. You don't feel like me, come yeah. in and really care. I'm gonna be. Yeah, man, Malvin, every time, brother. I have enough things that come bridging, and I mean, I have enough video scheduled all the way up until fucking December, to be honest. So, we just saw live stream in between, but my schedule set. <laughs> now, I mean, but just listen to the, the difference. Let's turn off all of the effects. He don't feel like me, cause I don't really care. Boxy, cluttered, not too much space, sound like me, I suffocate. He don't feel like me. I know we're just clear, but we want it even cleaner. So I don't know. We'll go out of the 670 and we'll go in another analog type of machine. What we'll do is start with a preset and then edit. So we'll go hear vocals. He don't feel like me, because I don't really care. I'm going to be the champion standing at the end of the year. You don't feel like me Come in and really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't feel like me Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't feel like me Come in and really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't Anything I'm going to show inside of FL Studio, a lot of people don't know this. You have this thing right there, name D clicking. If you click it and go to generic, or I'm not sure if it's generic or if it's cross feed, I think. So when you cut a file, it creates these. You see this thing right at the end? 
You know what? The cross fade don't want it fade out and fade in. And what that stop is stop a lot of clicks and pops. You know what I mean? You might see a lot of professional engineers that will have that in them tracks. That is exactly what I'm going to do that for. So what I'll do is use it you now. Use it and, and clear out some of these things I'm going to set in the track. So let's do that. Like when I take a breath or something like that. Or clean out all of that. He don't feel like me. Cause I right, that's all. So I'll we'll cut. Boom. Right click and cut. Delete. He don't feel like me. Cause I don't. Now I mean, we can clean it up a little bit better though. He don't. Cause I don't really care. I'm right, that's something. Take another deep breath. So I'll we'll cut out that same way. Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be See Come cross Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year yeah. Right, so I have another one So we'll cut that as well Cause I don't really me. Come in and really Cut out this as well And here as well uh. You don't feel like me Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't feel like me Come in and really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year No, I mean When it's clean, just get rid of all of the nasty stuff out of there And I hear me, I take a deep breath and all that. It's <laughs> yeah, you know, so I know I'm a day now. But I also know where I come from, you know. And you know, it's a long road to the top, you know. But me willing for it, you know, because we have the patience, you know, we are putting him from, you know. And you know, it's a long road to the top, you know. But me willing for it, you know, because we have the patience, you know, we are putting the work, you know. Hear me now, man? <laughs> You don't feel like me Cause I don't Then everything together You have this one nice Unit I'm from you know You know it's a long road to the top you know But me willing for it you know Cause we have the patience you know We are putting in the work you know Hear me now man You don't feel like me Cause I don't Man, time to time thing, man. Anytime I make a reading bread on me, I think might record it. If I did have a better setup as far as nice go, I would actually record some songs, but I fucking my mic pick up a lot of my computer. And my computer the big problem. The fan for my computer, the mic will pick them up like for my voice right now. If I never have this thing from isotope, you'd have to hear the background in the room. Enough. You hear that? You know what I mean? So if if it wasn't for this thing right as a brother with all of the noise in the background, especially from the computer. You know what I mean? This helped clean up that a lot and I have to give thanks to as the top feet, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. Another thing where you can do as well with vocals, just like what I do earlier with the with the 
oh, what do they do? What do they do it with? With the guitar where you can delete, you can do the same thing with vocals to get a bigger sound out of it, right? So let's turn this down, right? So if you listen to... Can you hear me now, man? <laughs> so this is the hook, right? So what we're going to do is with a record, all of this, right? Again, we'll do it twice. So I'll make it play through twice with the track. But we'll just record that by itself. So let's find that right there. So and let's just arm it for record. Put the input to us. We'll put fucking record doing, I mean. So let's go record. Let's go add into the playlist. Can I hear me now, man? Hmm. Hmm. You don't feel like me Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't feel like me Come me not really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year Alright, so Let me see what you can do. Notice we have a little bit of a delay upon it. So all we can do is fix that. Simply just drag them across. Line them up like that. You know and I mean, cool. So that's one way where you can delay them. You can delay them manually or you can just delay them upon the mixer. So I prefer you do it upon the mixer because it's a lot simpler. So I'll link these to track 48 and 49. So that's one. This is the other. Cool. Now, what we'll do is click on the little clock and we'll set in milliseconds. So we'll delay one by 12 and we'll delay one by 24. So now, if you listen to the three of them together, we'll turn, take out the little intro piece right there. So we don't need that. Let's turn off our card. Can you hear me now, man? You don't feel like me Cause I don't really care Now, I mean, what we can do now Lower the volume, so we'll take out about 10 dB out of that, and then a little bit more out of that. Uh, can you hear me now, man? Huh, huh. You don't feel like me, cause I... Then we can also pan them left and right. Uh, can you hear me now, man? Huh, huh. You don't feel like me, cause I don't really care. I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year. You don't feel like me. I'm in a really care. I'm gonna be the champ. So without them, uh, can I hear me now, man? Huh, huh. You don't feel like me. You just get a thicker sound, you know what I mean? As opposed to just it by itself. And let's work with any instrument. Like I said earlier, we do it with the guitar, when we delay one left and one right, same way. Uh, can I hear me now, man? Huh, huh. So the truck itself. Uh, can I hear me now, man? Huh. You don't feel like me Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't feel like me Come in and really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year uh, Can you hear me now, man? Huh. So let's run through it from the top From the top It's bad. 
<laughs> Yo, nah, so me know I'm a day now But me also know where me I come from, you know And you know it's a long road to the top, you know But me willing for it, you know Cause we are the patience, you know We are put in the work, you know Hear me now, man huh. You don't have to like me Cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion Standing at the end of the year You don't You know, we are putting in the work, you know, hear me now, man? Huh. Huh. You don't have to like me, cause I don't really care I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year You don't have to like me, come in and really care I'm gonna be the champion standing at the end of the year
Yeah, yeah peeps. So you have some man in one, I mean. Something like say, Mr. Boys B is the truck star. You know what I mean? Anybody that looks on plugin, I do a video on some really, really good plugin sales are going right now. You know what I mean? Really, really good. Um, um, so until next time, still, yeah, it's your boy SB is the truck star. I'm going to play with him for a couple of more minutes. You know what I mean? Thank you all for watching, of course. Until next time, peace.